a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> I'm Allie Breckenridge. I'm a personal trainer. I just graduated with a degree in psychology from Kansas University. Physical fitness is really important to me because I think that somebody that feels good about how they look on the outside is also confident in a lot of other areas in their life. I want somebody that can have intellectual conversation, that's had a little bit of worldly experience, so he's a bit cultured. Somebody that's going to take a different road, not always the same. A limit day. <laughs> Today we're going to start really early, um, 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm an early riser, so I want to see if they are as well. I thought we'd spend some time in the sun and go running and build some sand castles and see who's creative. Hello there, beautiful. How Hi, are you? I'm Allie. Allie? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Paul. My name is Paul Soski. I'm the lead singer and lead guitarist of a band called Detta 27 in local San Diego area. My personality begins with a power. It attracts women and it frightens them at the same time. I'm a go-getter. I get what I want and I shall have anything that I go for. Oh, Ali, I'm coming to catch you. How you doing? Hi, I'm Ali. Ali? Yeah. Sean. <laughs> I'm, Ooh, what a sweet sweet Sean. I'm Sean Royster. I'm a professional racquetball player. A lot of people didn't even know that professional racquetball existed, but it does. When it comes to the ladies, I put out this vibe. The vibe that the party's over here, the party's with Sean. Hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is John Carter, and I'm an entrepreneur. But what I really love to do is uh, surf and spend time in the ocean. My approach to life is definitely based on freedom. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Live life for, for what it's meant to be, and that's living, not working a nine to five. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> How you doing? Hi. I'm Rich. Hi, Rich. Nice to meet you. My name is Rich Hopkins. I'm a first lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. I love the discipline of the Marine Corps. It's taught me honor, courage, commitment, and how to be a winner. I break the daily monotony by telling jokes to my Marines. They call me the Joker. I even have a tattoo of it. <laughs> so where are, you, where are you from? I'm originally from Virginia. My job brought me out here to uh, the San Diego area, so. What are you doing? Uh, I'm a Marine. Ooh, so. super fun. I kind of get that feeling. I can see myself not ever getting along with a Marine, dude. We're not on the same level. I was in 2nd uh, Platoon, 1st Bravo. Get down and give me 20. So, so let's go for a run. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Oh. I tried to jockey for the best position that I could get, uh, right up on our right side. Well, Rich is very pushy. He was shoving his way in wherever he could. It was hard to really get um, some conversation in with her. Okay, here, um, what were you saying? I lived in Australia. Just so I can hear you. <laughs> what did you say about the beach? I'm, I lived. He's just talking about Australia. Oh, you're in Australia now? <laughs> Sean at the visor, and with just the things he kind of said, and the topics he was bringing up were so fake and repetitive at the same time. <laughs> Allie, what kind of clubs do you like to hit down here in San Diego on the weekend? You know, I've never partied in San Diego, ever. Uh, um, except for she's going to a show, though, Dead at 27, I heard. Isn't that true? Oh, really? Yeah, didn't you say something like news that to me News to me, news to me. Dead at 27, I believe, is uh, Kurt Cobain, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Janis Joplin. That's a lousy name for a band. So when's the last time each of you guys have built a sand castle? I six, my first four, time. Like Your first time? I think I built the sand castle probably 10 years ago. I'm also a Marine 24-7, but I know, how, I know how to go out and have fun. All right, so basically, Ali, let me, let me teach you how to make a sand castle, shall we? <laughs> okay, look. Paul reminds me of like a New Yorker. He's like this big Italian guy who wants to get every word in. Hey, sabotage hey, right there. Castle, that was sabotage. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to nail you with sand over there. The sand flicking okay. just didn't work. I didn't like it at all. I didn't think it, I don't, we don't do that here. So uh, I didn't think that, that, that went over too big. My opinions of Paul so far aren't that high. He's a little immature. He's throwing sand at some of the other contestants. <laughs> it's, really, it's really not funny. Here, I'll go, I'll go get you guys some water. So how did you get to doing this? Watch out. I wouldn't drop you. When he lifted her up, I thought that was kind of forward. That's just his personality. That's just how he is. He's 
He's like a big grown like ogre or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think that was just another opportunity to show, check it out, I'm strong. I can lift a 98 pound girl up. Come on. More or less, I just did it as a quick stunt, uh, spontaneous kind of action. Tell me something shocking about yourself, oh, something that would shock, shock me. You know what's potentially shocking is at a show when I was on stage, the way I act and appear up there, I'm, I'm, I'm basically a nut. A class, a class I can see that, I can yeah. see that. Can you? Can you see the energy? I think Paul's a little stuck up on himself and his band. He's constantly trying to plug his band, constantly trying to talk about his band. It's him and his band, him and his band, his band and him. If everybody's saying I was bragging about my band, I don't care. I really don't. I love my band and that's all that matters. I think I had an advantage of Sandcastle Building with my Marine Corps training because I live out in the desert. We're constantly digging foxholes, covering Humvees, and more or less I knew how to build it, use the water and the sand together, and use the equipment and tools to build it the best sandcastle that I could build. I got the arrow effect going, so I kind of hit the heart with the arrow, and right here, this is, this is us two dancing in the middle. I'm done. Ah, oh, look at him. Oh, he took you my guys, idea. You guys, see this. You, so nice, honey. John so stole nice. my idea. Um, I was kind of mad about that. You know, I saw him kind of look over and be like, oh, I'm going to draw a heart now. The little heart, that was uh, that's pretty money. But what are you going to do? You know what I mean? The real love's here. The fake love's there. Coming up, who will Allie cut first? The Marine guy, he's obviously the biggest of all of us. But he's also probably going to be cut first. I think Sean in this round did the worst, actually. Um, he just had that fake attitude, I think she read it. Paul's gonna lose this round because he's the most conceited about himself. I would have to say the Marine, you know. Uh, I, I don't think he's one of a few good men. Eliminate. Who do you think Allie will eliminate first? John, Paul, Sean, or Rich? Well, you guys have had so much fun and this is really hard for me, but um, I just wanna say, you are so sweet. You have great confidence. Just reads right from the beginning. Um, you um, have a great mix of interests and um, have a lot to say. Um, you have obviously made fitness a part of your life, which is something that I'm looking for. Um, you're like a complete sweetheart. Don't need the spotlight, which is refreshing. But somebody did something that was a little bit offensive, didn't play fair. Um, and uh, the, the sand flinging, the sand flinging. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Sand flinging? Yes. You did it first. I saw her give me that look when I flung the sand and, and I knew she didn't like that aggressive, outgoing kind of kind of attitude, but that's who I am and she can't handle it, oh well. Oh my God, like my heart started pounding and I was like adrenaline started flowing and but then she gave me a really cool compliment. You know, she said I was a sweetheart and I was really stoked and then boom, off goes Paula. I'm just glad it was Paula and not me. The attention seeking thing, I'm, I like for somebody to not need so much. That's okay, I don't mind. I know inside my heart who I am. I'm a lover, so you know, screw these guys. Um, we're gonna go rollerblading. Um, I just want to see who's fun to hang out with. Has anybody here rollerbladed? Yeah, or, uh, so what's previously? the experience level here? I've rollerbladed Never. one time. Going into round two, I still feel pretty confident about myself and uh, my standings with Allie. We're beginning to separate the men from the boys. Do I, do I attempt to do this? Venture out, big boy. All right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I've got the strategy down. I'm starting to see it. I'm feeling her out, and I think I know what she's into. If you see me face down, help me out, will you? Ugly. Hey, I'm going back right up. Just got to show my personality more. I think that's really working for me in this uh, situation. Play my cards right and come out on top, hopefully. You ever done the roller blading where you, I mean the roller derby where you grab a I hand and you... I just go between your legs. Yeah, like this. I'm just it. kidding. <laughs> so I'll go. Hey, can I try that, actually? No. You think you can open them? No. Oh, no. Sean gets this funny idea that he feels like he needs to go in between my legs. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, open so man, open this a little. Come on through. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's right, not what I had planned. You know, it wasn't my plan to get between her legs, but while I was there, I certainly wasn't complaining. He was just trying to show off too much, and I think she got a little annoyed by it. She doesn't even know how to skate, and he's like, you know, trying to get between her legs, and you know, I mean, <laughs> there's ways of getting between girls' legs, and you know, it's not a, not the wisest of moves. Show me some tricks. Come on. Backwards. 
Let's go backwards, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, that's about as much as I go backwards. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows what he's doing. He's an ugly. John started off by saying that he couldn't rollerblade. I really don't know how to skate like that great. Well, all of a sudden he comes out, you know, and does some Scott Hamilton crap, you know, flipping all over the place and spinning and he's got his leg behind his ear. He was zooming past us and, and skating backwards and showing tricks. He's doing a big dismount and, you know, looking for the scores. Like I said, I'd done it a little bit when I was younger, in roller rinks and stuff, but it just kind of came back to me. More or less, he kind of lied about it. John is a big, fat liar. Did you have a fun Pretty time for the Awesome. Awesome. Anybody hungry at all? I'm starving. Okay. Starving. Getting ready to go get something to eat. Next, we went and had breakfast because we were all starving. It's good. Yum, yum. Oh, Let's dig in. Rubber. I'm going to use my major in psychology um, to, to discover more about them by just using probing questions that, that they just think that they're just answering a normal question, but I'm actually analyzing it to a greater degree. What do you normally do when you go out? When I go out, I like to go shopping. I, I love going shopping. Like, you take me to a mall and I'm <laughs> seriously happy. I like to shop. You're killing me with that. I mean, come on, like, wh wh what guy wants to go shopping on their free time? Like, if that's not, like, a total kiss up to a girl, like, oh, I like to shop. Oh, you like to shop too? Oh my gosh, I paint my nails. I mean, come on. Guy shopping, girl shopping. I go out shopping with girls all the time and help them pick out stuff. I'm real honest with you. That's a good life. I really do out, enjoy going out shopping for both myself and for other people. I think he's, he's you know, hanging by a thin red line. Who will Allie cut next? You know, really, at this point, there's no saving Private Ryan, Private, whatever his name is. I believe uh, John will be the next to go. Allie took us all by surprise at the beginning, and uh, she may do it again. <laughs> Who is Allie going to eliminate next? John, Sean, or Rich? I had an awesome time, and on this round, I really got to know everybody so much better, so this is really hard for me. Um, you're so sweet, and you totally broke out of your shell. You're polite, and I like that, and it's hard to see that these days. You're hilarious. Um, we had a great time rollerblading. The little between-the-leg trick was hilarious. Spontaneous, fun. Right. But one person, I'm just not used to somebody that's so placating. I'm just not used to that. And most girls love it. I mean, three-fourths of the girls would love it. But I'm just not used to it. Heartbroken. Don't be heartbroken. Thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed my time with you. You're a very lovely girl. She said I was too regimented, but on the weekends, I'm a free-flowing person. I enjoy going out and having fun. The poor guy just got dumped on national television. It's gotta be tough, but I wish you the best of luck, buddy. Keep doing those push-ups. Being a United States Marine, I conducted myself in the highest honor that I believed on this date. I held myself to a high value, much higher than the other three competitors, and I had a good time doing it. This round, it's, it's on a much more personal level, because I've kind of gotten to know them, so. It's really easy to be a little bit more sarcastic and kind of just say it how it is. Pretty uh -oh. good. I went into the photo booth because I wanted to see um, how creative they could be spontaneously. All right, John, Sweet. it's your shot. Okay. Direct us. Okay. I don't want to be mean, but we're going to go ahead and have you, Sean, you're going to put your arms up like you're just about to go, like put your arms around me. Okay. And we're going to both be <laughs> holding our nose because you got some <laughs> bad BR going on. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> no hard feelings. You got to do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Starting. Okay, who's pushing the button? Oh, yeah. I think John's a little sneaky. You know, he snuck in some jabs in there. You know, I a smell in his armpits and stuff, and it was good. She laughed. Oh. <laughs> of course, that didn't make me look good. So, of course, that was annoying. Um, we walked over to the bungee cord trampoline, whatever you want to call that, and um, it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> What are the chances of me flipping like that? So wild. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Come right over here. You gotta get a hard oh. huh? It's questionable whether or not Allie was doing this project just to see who's got the bigger package. 
because this apparatus actually revealed everything. It was just really funny because Sean obviously was in extreme pain <laughs> and had this hilarious look on his face and he was still totally going with it. What? The trampoline is I try to just take, like the approach I've taken the whole day, just to have fun and enjoy it and do some flips and, and not really compete, but just have fun and enjoy it. John was just flying through it. I mean, he was really good at it. I'm an athlete. I'm a competitor. I came in here to compete. I didn't come here to lose. I think Sean's competitive in this probably uh, went as a disadvantage to him. I think Ali probably saw that and, you know, sees that he's not uh, having as much fun. I'm all, I've always been competitive. That's just that's what I do for a living. I'm competitive, but I, I try to turn it on and turn it off. I, I mean, I hope that she doesn't think that I'm, I'm like that, you know, all the time. irritation I was having with the, uh, the, the whatever the get up that you have to put on to get on this thing. Uh, I felt like my turns were solid. Will it be John or Sean? Allie's final cut is next. She's into the carefree and, and fun or if she wants the competitiveness or if she, you know, we'll just have to see what she wants. It's totally in the air right now. I'm leaving this whole thing with my best performance and uh, I believe I won. A limited. Okay, it's the final cut, and this is such a hard decision for me. But you guys were both great, obviously. Neither of you guys were hesitant to get on the trampolines, and it was so much fun. You weren't even the least bit afraid to show the pain. Um, <laughs> both of you are very creative in the photo booth and everything. And I love the fact that you love the sun and the beach and the sand and everything. But my first impression of you um, as being just an overly confident, which is so positive. No, not overly confident. Right. A confident person, spontaneous, witty, yeah. would always keep me guessing. Okay. So I'm sorry. Oh. I have to cut you because I, I just think you would be more happy with somebody that needs a little bit less urban. I mean, you'll, you'll be happier in a much less urban existence, I think. Definitely. So. Well, thanks sorry. anyways. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I chose Sean because um, just overall confidence. I mean, he injected humor into things that you really normally wouldn't find very much humor in, and he was just easy to be around straight from the beginning. Well, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of bummed, you know, but at the same time, she's a cool girl and she let me down in a in a cool manner. I really don't think John has a problem getting girls. To be honest with you, I think he's he, do, he does just fine. But it's got to be the surfer, whatever the surfer, whatever girls are. Like, you know what he's into. They're a little different, but sometimes it's the odd matches that end up working. 